Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add several references into your reference window in Abyss. This is a new feature that came out in the last few updates and it is extremely useful. You have a little window where you can add in references that are other images just so that you can see them while you're drawing and you can even eye drop from them. It's just, it's great. I love it so much. You would do that. Firstly, of course, you need to get an actual reference window up. So to do that, all you need to do is to go into your settings, which is most easily accessible from this arrow, although you can also get it from another menu, which I will show you now. The other way to access it, as I said, is right here in the main menu that you get when you open up. You would just go into the settings icon right here and click the reference window on in the user interface. The other way to get it is to go into settings from here, which I have this little arrow set up for right here. You would click this arrow here, go into settings, and as you can see, you have the same options to turn it on or off right here. So just turn it on and you will then have it appear when you exit that. Firstly, you're going to want to import reference. You can move this window around really easily by holding on to the lighter color strip at the top. Import your reference, it will take you into your gallery. You can also use Google Drive or Google Photos. I'm not sure what options you would have with Apple, but I'm sure that they will be vaguely the same. So import a reference first. So then you'll have one reference in here. You can zoom this however you want. But to get several references, you would have to go back into that menu and add another one. Again, from your gallery or Google Photos or whatever, it doesn't really matter. You can see now you have your new reference and you also have these little arrows. You can click on the arrows to go through the references and if you have another one, after adding your third reference in, you'll see that you can still go between all of these. I'm not really sure what the limit is with having references in here, but you can easily fit three into here and it doesn't make anything lag, so it's fine. Although if you add in another reference that is a big image, you might have to lower the quality, Otherwise, it will slow down your canvas. Then to remove images, you would simply go onto the reference that you want to get rid of and click remove reference. Then it will be gone and you'll only have those two or you can put other ones in there. So again, to have several images in here, you just need to keep adding the reference. It is super duper easy. It doesn't take long at all. And in my experience, even the loading is really short. So that is how you add in your references right here. When you want to actually get rid of it, you just click this little X and then it's gone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and if you did, consider supporting. Bye.